I can even eat nowadays is soup. So I bought me some potato soup because I love potato soup. And yeah, so I got the Idahoan creamy potato soup. I've never tried this before in a little microwavable bowl. So I'm gonna try it and see how I like it. Mmm, hot. Mmm, not bad. I should be able to hold that down though. I think soup works for me because it's, you know, more liquidy. Instead of just hard, solid food crashing to my stomach and my stomach, like, mm -mm. we don't want this. We're going to reject it. We're going to send it back up. Yeah. It's not bad. Not the best that I've tasted before, but it's not bad. Okay, so <clears throat> I am nine weeks, and right when I turn nine weeks, like I'm nine weeks and what? Thursday, Friday. Nine weeks and four days. <clears throat> so the last video, I was eight weeks and four days, I think. So nine weeks and four days, and right when I turn nine weeks, it happened. The thing that I was terrified of and did not want to happen and did everything I could to keep it from happening, it still happened anyway. <clears throat> I threw up. And it was terrible. It was awful. I hate it. I hate throwing up. I hate it with the passion. I hate it. I hate it. And of course, you may think, Oh, well, Amy, who actually likes throwing up? Let's not forget, there are people that throw up on purpose. So, I'm not one of those people because I will do everything I possibly can to keep from throwing up. So much so, y'all, that I, I felt so, like yesterday, I felt so terrible that I, I asked my husband about his, his suggestion and was like, do you think I should just go ahead and just throw up and, and just just let it go? And he was like, yeah, just let it, just let it out, let it go. And <laughs> as soon as he said that, I it was like, I guess all of my tension that I have, I just, I, I let go and boom, there it was. It was ready to come up. So, yeah. And with AJ and Amari, you know, I had really bad morning sickness and, you know, couldn't eat certain things. Certain things would make me go and throw up. Excuse me. But this one. <laughs> this one, like, I can't eat anything. I'm only able to manage, like, to hold down or keep down soup. And as if I eat a little bit. So I've been eating lots of vegetable soup. And as you saw, I just tried some um, potato soup. So that's going pretty well. Also, yesterday I had Hubby get me some um, Dramamine. Um, I think that's how you say it. Um, but I took it before for morning sick. Not, no. I took it before for motion sickness. Um when we went on our honeymoon because we were going on the cruise cruise ship and I get car sick real easily so I was like oh my gosh I know I'm gonna be sick on this boat but I actually did pretty good I didn't get sick at all on the boat <clears throat> so that's how I knew um about that um also in the last video I, I pulled out that paper that I got in the bag from the doctor's office and 
uh, the paper that had the list of, you know, things that you can take during pregnancy. So it finally clicked and I was like, oh, let me look and see if there's something on there that I can actually take for nausea. And so I looked and I saw Gemamine and um, Imitrol. Imitrol, I love Imitrol. And when I saw that, I was like, yes, how could I forget? So Imitrol, like when I was in college, I had uh, food poisoning one time. Not a fun thing at all. At all. Not fun. Um, <clears throat> and of course, knowing me, I, I made myself like just tough my way through it. Like my dad was coming in my room asking me, do I need to take you to the emergency room? Like we, we will go. We can go. And I was like, no, no, no. I will be fine. I will be fine. So, yeah. So my mom got me some Imitrol. Um, to help with the nausea because even after the worst of it was over, I was still, you know, dealing with the nausea for like, you know, a couple weeks. Terrible. And the Imitrol helped and I loved it so much because it was like a bottle full of sugar. <laughs> I mean, you know, just a big kid. But yeah, it was just, oh, it was just, it was wonderful. Because when you look at the ingredients, it's like a whole, like, different types of sugars, you know, dextrose, sucrose, lyricose, lecrose, bcrose, s-crose. I just made those up. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, y'all, I'm, like, super, super sick, and I'm getting ready to take me a bath now so I can relax. I just got the boys in bed. Even though they're in there talking and playing right now. But eventually they will fall asleep. And y'all, I feel like such a terrible parent. Because I can't function like I should. Or function like like normal. And I just, oh. And I feel stuck. Because the kids need me. They need me to do certain things. But it's like all I want to do is lay down and go to sleep. All I want to do is just lay down. And, oh my gosh, it's it's tough. It's so hard. It is so tough because I'm here by myself. Because, you know, when, as you know, when I get the boys in the afternoon, <clears throat> hubby's going to work. So it's me and the boys in the afternoon. And this is so tough. So, <clears throat> so another thing is that I am losing weight. Um, when I last checked my weight, which was yesterday, no, this morning, um, cause y'all know I check my weight every morning. So I am down to 162. So at the start of this pregnancy, I was like 167. Yeah. So now I am 162. So hopefully my goal right now is that by my next doctor's appointment, which is like the second the second full week in May um my weight will be down to the 150 so like 159 or lower okay so that's my goal um because I, I I don't want to add to this weight I want to bring it down and with all the vomiting and only able to eat soup yeah it's working out very easily <laughs> to reach that goal um, so, yeah, so that's the update with week nine. I feel terrible. Like I told my husband, this better be a girl. And if it is, this better be the last time she put me through something this terrible. Because I've already heard all the horror stories about, oh, when you have a girl. Plus, I was a girl growing up. So, I know. I know. Oh, Lord, I know. All right, well, I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.